So developers, we have added pages for our experience. However, if I will go to the workspace from here, uh, the workspace is cafeteria management workspace. If I click on this, you will see no contents available because so from here, if you click uh, the settings tab, you will see the landing path is home and in our home page variant there is nothing to be displayed for now and you can also see that uh, let me open other workspace for example the service operation workspace in new tab Taking a time, just wait for a while. In this workspace, service offering, uh, offering workspace, you will see the left hand navigation. You can see this home page and this list and other navigations. However, for our workspace, we don't have. So, what I will do from the setting tab if you scroll down below you will see the site navigation so let me add for home page okay and i will say the label is home um label thing it should be capital home Home fill or outline anything. A list. List outline. And I will say list. And I'll add another item which is also for record. We will not add because uh, I will show you. Let me save it first. Record is meant for so in this page. If I'll open this list page, and let me click here. So if you click this record it will open the record page this page so that link in will be happen from this list page that's why i'm not going to create a side navigation for record page so let me refresh this again nice so we have home page and we have list and our in our list you can see nothing is available because we have to configure so what i will do i'll go to the experience page and i will open the variant of this list page And in this variant, in the body, you can see they have added resizable panes component. For now, just, just care about the configuration because we are not learning about any components. For now, so I will click on this left side, this component, which is list nav. And in the right hand side, you can see configuration styles and events tab so in this tab there is a field called configuration so you can see if you click on this it says there are configuration record that define the list and their grouping that appears in the list menu okay and the way it is it has bounded is at the rate context that apps that list config id okay 
and here you can see configuration applicability and m to m applicability so click this configuration link will open this table list so i will create new configuration And I will say cafeteria management workspace list and I will save it. Okay, so we have categories and list first what i will do i will open the experience record and add one page properties so from here i will search for experience so under the now experience framework you could see experiences click on that I will list you the experience in the experience which we have created is this one cafeteria uh, And what I will do is click so you can see cafeteria management workspace. Just open that record, and just now I have shown you this one at the red context of apps that list config ID. So basically, this context object is trying to access the list config id from the application page properties so that's what i am going to create from here that is ux page properties so let me create the one and that is list config id so here name is list config id in the value here i have to copy the sys id of the cs cs list menu config record and paste here and suffix also i will paste and i will just hit the submit button will create the page property that is list config id ok means now we are using this means we are using this list menu configuration we don't have any categories and list so let's create category for now i am going to create a let me open my application in the app engine studio as i have this application cafeteria management and workspace is majorly focusing to agent so for this order i am going to create category and this is the table and we can categorize the list by cancel and deliver and we can say all cancel and deliver items so for that i will say orders and hundred go back 
So we have created this categories. Let me open this record again. Now we will add the list. The first is all. And this is based on order, it will be shown to you. And this is orders. And configuration here, we have to select. is cafeteria management workspace list and what all columns you want to show when you select that particular menu item in the table list what all columns you want to display so i will say order number is the number two number order by name email phone order this and state and quantity state i will show after the number and you have other configuration here that you can read and try by yourself from here and i will say submit let me if I can do insert and stay let me try okay I can do the insert and stay so I will create another and I will say in this time this will be insult orders so the state cancel and in this case because we know the state is cancelled we don't have to show this state and i will say insert and state let me add another and that i will say delivered state is delivered and insert and stay so let's go to our workspace and let's refresh it so you can see we have this category orders under that we have all cancelled and delivered item to navigate based on the field we applied while configuring this ux list menu configuration and you can see you can resize this also Thank you.